And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. It's not softball season yet. It's right around the corner. But one of our local softball stars signed a big-time scholarship. We're talking about Jada Viegas, the star pitcher for the Cajon Cowgirls, signing with the BYU Cougars. There is signing day for Jada. And then here's a picture of Jada also in a BYU uniform on her a visit out there to Provo, Utah. We had a chance to talk to Jada about why she chose BYU. And remember, uh, Jada and the Cowgirls won a CIF championship two seasons ago. Can they do it again? She's going to be a senior and would like to go out with another title. Here's our interview with Cajon softball star Jada Viegas. And now join us here on the show. She's one of our big-time softball stars in the area, and she recently signed with the BYU Cougars. It's Jada Viegas from Cajon High School. And Jada, first off, congratulations to you and your family getting a Division I scholarship. Uh, why BYU? Why did you choose the Cougars? Well, I mean, honestly, I loved everything about it. Just starting from um, Utah. Utah is an amazing place. I love the facilities. I love the softball field. I love the coaches, just everything about it, the atmosphere. Um, the college itself was just amazing. I truly, I loved it as soon as I got there. Was it um, obviously excitement for you and your family to get this scholarship, but did it feel like, um, you know, a sense of relief, like, okay, the pressure's off. I've signed. I know where I'm going. Now I can just have fun. Maybe win another CIF championship at Cajon. Does, what were the feelings, the emotions going through, uh, you, you know, your mind and your family's, you know, and just knowing that this is done. It's a done deal now. No, yeah, it was definitely relieving just knowing that I was, I chose school and I absolutely loved it. And just the hard part about it now was just making sure I, I kept it up. I kept up my, how I was doing and making sure that, um, I was staying up to how I needed to perform. You know, um, I've interviewed a lot of, you know, high school athletes who signed the scholarships and, you know, they do say, yes, it's a sense of relief. They're glad it's done. There was a lot of pressure in the recruiting process, but a lot of them say, okay, now the real work begins because now I got to prove I belong there. Now I got to prove I deserve that scholarship and I can compete at that level and all those sorts of things. Do you, do you feel that too, that, that, you know, I have to go in there and, you know, prove that you belong? Yeah, for sure. I feel like, um, my work, I think I had to push even harder before than before. And that was a good thing though, because I need to uh, be prepared for when I go to college. All right, Jada, let's talk uh, about Cajon. I mean, you have a CIF championship already under your belt one. Um, would you like to do it again? Is that the goal for this season? I you know first off, the CBL's tough, maybe a league championship, but then you know that that CIF championship run as well. So, what are some of the goals you've set for yourself and the and the team this year? Well, yeah, that's absolutely our, our number one goal right now this year is to win CIF again. Um, that's all we've been talking about since we won the last one. So, we just want to be able to experience that again for my senior year. You know, that was such uh, a magical season. Uh, two seasons ago, when you guys went all the way, um, did that fuel you and make you more hungry to get back like man that was you know that was so much fun um let, let's do it again and obviously it's hard it's hard to get back to the finals i mean you guys had a good season last year too but it's hard to get back to the finals that kind of yeah. fuel you to get back yeah for sure like every season i was telling I'm telling the girls like you know the the feeling of being in cif is amazing so we have to do it again like you have to be able to experience that and i, I feel like that like this year will be a good chance at that you know, and right now, this is a, a busy time of the year for you because, you know, people might not know, maybe they do, that you run track as well. I mean, it's not, you're just a softball player. You also run track. Are you doing track this season? And, and really why? I mean, you, you know, you're a softball player, you got your softball scholarship, but do you just enjoy it? Does it keep you still maybe um, athletically at a level where you want to be? I mean, why do you do track still? Well, um, I've always enjoyed running, and so I decided track was a good thing for me. I felt it was a good thing for me to do. And even though it does collide with the softball season, it does keep me um, in shape for softball for the summer. And honestly, track, it was just, it was really fun my sophomore year. So I want to do it again before I left. That's awesome. Uh, Jada, you know, some people too, know, they know your story. You had a, you know, really bad injury, uh, you know, when you were younger, you came back and you got to this level. I mean, when you look at that injury, did it did it fuel you in a certain way to to bounce all the way back? Do you I mean, do you even think about it or is that so far in the past that you don't you try not to think about it? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't try and think about it for a few years. That was always something in the back of my mind whenever I'd pitch. But now it's just something that I use as 
um, motivation to keep pitching and to keep getting better so I don't let that happen again. You know, Jada, I don't know. I, I don't have the Cajon High School record book in front of me, but I assume like all the pitching stats, wins, strikeouts, innings pitched, I don't know. You've got to be near the top or, or, or have the records or something because, you know, you've been pitching for several seasons now. Do, do you keep track of the records or do you even know where you stand in terms of the all-time grades at Cajon High School in softball? I honestly, I don't keep track of that, but I feel like after this year, I definitely will just have all of the stats from all the years like um, together. But I keep uh, track like of strikeouts and wins during the season. Yeah, because I'd imagine like, uh, you know, strikeouts in a single season or career strikeouts or you know career endings pitched or something like that I, I figured you either probably already have the record or you're very very close off to you know stay uh, in touch with coach Haynes about that but yeah. do the records matter to you or is it league titles CIF titles those sorts of things <clears throat> yeah no those don't matter to me at all it's definitely it's definitely the league titles and uh, CIF that's our only goal and that's the only thing we, we care about honestly how do you think you can still improve as a pitcher um, honestly, I just feel like I could be more vocal with my team and also just, um, continuing to make sure my pitches are good. Like I just need to make, I, I can just, I could always be better. Like I might, I might think my pitches are good now, but I know that I can always adjust and always fix something even when they're good. Like you can always get better. Do you feel like as good as you are right now, you're still learning, maybe still learning the, the, the position. And like you said, there's still room for improvement. No, yeah, for sure. I feel like I'm always I'm always learning something, always um, improving when I'm pitching. All right. And Jada, um, you know, again, being a senior final year at Cajon, big, big goals for this team and this squad. Um, what's it like been playing at Cajon High School and for Coach Haynes? I honestly, I have loved every single year that I've been at Cajon with Coach Haynes. Um, I love the coaching staff so much. I love our team, just everything about it. I love what we like, stand for and everything. Just um, I truly appreciate and love being at Cajon and I've loved being at Cajon. You know, you guys could have another maybe a special championship year this season. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you so much. You got it. That's Jada Viegas from Cajon High School, recently signed with BYU right here on Sports Weekly on IEMG. All right, best of luck to Jada at BYU. And that's going to do it for this edition of Sports Weekly on IEMG. Make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. My name is Pep Fernandez. We'll see you next time on Sports Weekly on IEMG.